Next Saturday, then New Year's Eve just around the corner and coming fast. So it's really time to think about how you're going to ring in the new year. Annapolis has an option for you. WMER 2 News' is Don Harrison tells us about a way for the young and the old to bring in the new year together. Baltimore City will not have fireworks this year, not to worry. There is a good backup for that. Annapolis is not only having fireworks, they are having two sets of fireworks. We want to make it something for everybody. So, you know, from 4 to about 520, we'll have some live music and DJs and dancing for families, uh, followed by a 530 fireworks. That gives parents a chance to give their children a New Year's Eve experience without torturing you and your children, trying to keep them entertained until midnight. And then for the adult crowd, we'll have another DJ that sets up at 9 p.m. and plays to midnight, and we'll shoot off a second set of fireworks for those who want to welcome in the New Year late. City shuttle buses will come around to all the downtown parking garages to bring you to the city dock area. In the past, Annapolis has had two locations for their fireworks, one for the adults and one for the kids. This year, they're going to change it up a little. We'll be able to support our businesses and have everybody come in one central location to be outdoors and enjoy some music, some dancing in the street, and some evening fireworks. The New Year's celebration will be at the end of City Dock in the Susan Campbell Park. If the weather ends up on the cold side, the city has a plan for that as well. We'll set up a warming bus where you can get uh, warmed up a bit and come back out. That bus will be at the Market House downtown from 6 until midnight. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR2 News.